Well, this is my next project. I'm building me an air compressor. It's an old tank a friend of mine gave me. I stripped it down today. Put a coat of paint on it. I've got a small compressor I bought from Sears. And uh, my carpenter buddy Buff. gave me this one horse motor that come off something. It's got a 5 8 shaft, but this has got the wrong pulley on it. So I got to get me a pulley to work on this shaft. I'll get it tomorrow. This is a, another old motor I had, but it's too small. That's the kind of pulley I need, but it needs to be for a 5 8 shaft. And so that's what I'll get tomorrow. Uh, let's set this. That's about where that compressor is going to sit. Got me a hookup for the airline there. But I'll, I'll take some more film of it when I get uh, some more parts for it. Check you later. Well, I'm building me a, a compressor for the shop out of pieces I had. Just kind of putting odds and ends of people giving me I've saved over the years. I just got through building a plate to uh, put the motor on. It'll be uh, capable of adjusting the belt down tight. I got it out here getting it ready to paint. Uh, I saw this on the internet the other day. A uh, way of uh, Shaking your cans, your paint cans. It's, uh, I thought pretty neat. Just put it in the sawzall. on tape for just a minute. It'll be all the shaking you need. <clears throat> I'll catch you later. Well, I'm trying my little compressor out for the first time. Sounds good. out in the trailer that way I don't I don't have any noise in here I'm gonna run an airline in here hook my hook my air hose up to it I've been using that pancake pancake compressor but it is so so darn noisy this is something I got from Larry the other day a 
an old timey rivet machine to rivet uh, brake shoes together. I'm going to use it for, for cracking baton nuts. Works off your foot. When you push your foot down, that brings those two heads together. That thing's probably as old as I am. Let the compressor shut off. We got 120 pounds of pressure. The only leak I hear is down here on the uh, hookup for the air hose, which that didn't surprise me. That seems to seems to do the trick right there. We'll hook an air gun up to it. Quite some time because that pancake compressor is great for working off site. But boy, when it's in here in this shop, it is noisy. You can't hear your good time rock and roll when it comes on. Okay, that's it for now. Here's something else Larry gave me. This uh, this is a old timer here. It's got its own water holder. thing is smooth as silk. Look at that water. Not even a ripple. It is running wide open. Got four lights. It's a Delta brand. Same as my big drill press that he gave me. That drill press is it's smooth as silk too kind of redid it a little bit made a wooden top for it and a cover for the to hold my stuff this slicker I mean it's just a smooth just a Delta brand I know you can't see that this Delta evidently that was Cream and a crop back in the day. That's one of the wheel weights off my tractor. It gives my stand a little bit of weight so it don't bounce around. I think I might mount this grinder to it. I might have to do a little changing on it. This is a sweet little grinder. Yes, sir. I'll check with you later.